This is Understanding Lenses Part 2, Making Sense of Primes. Now there's one key thing that you need to understand about primes. The numbers designated on the lens don't make any sense, and they never have. This one's a 55 millimeter, this one's a 105 millimeter, and this one is a 20 millimeter. These were all designed around full frame, and these are all film lenses, but they work perfectly fine on my A7R. Now, what about that doesn't make any sense? Have you ever thought about those numbers? The 105 millimeter designates 105 millimeters. That's how wide that would be. Or the 55 millimeter designates 55 millimeters. Or the 20 millimeters designates 20 millimeters. That doesn't make any sense because it's the exact opposite. The way camera manufacturers come up with those numbers, and this is this goes back to the beginning of equipment sales in the late 1800s, early 1900s, is from the convergence of the lens to the film plane designates that number. So 55 mil millimeters means 55 millimeters from where the lens, the light comes through the lens and crosses over itself from that point to the film plane is 55 millimeters. So the same thing with 105 and with 20. It has nothing to do with anything else. When they came up with these numbers, the cameras back then had massive bellows on them. And they were usually in formats that were like 8x10 or 11x14, somewhere around there. And uh, they weren't very portable. They were in the studio. And all they knew was the more distance from the film plane to the convergence of the lens meant more telephoto. So the farther the bellows out were, the more you were going to get into a portrait lens. That's what they were looking at back then had really nothing to do with anything else. We still use these numbers today, which is absolutely stupid. Camera manufacturers should have learned at this point to just switch over to an easier system designating the viewing angle that these lenses were designed for. In this case, we've got three standard primes that I would carry with me if I were traveling. And I've got a 55 millimeter, 105 millimeter, and a 20 millimeter. This is all on full frame DSLR. So the viewing angle of these, the 20 millimeter is 94 degrees. That's this wide. So if I'm doing an architectural photo shoot, the first thing I do is I walk into a room or I look at a space and I measure my distance, trying to figure out how much information I want to get in the lens. And when I hold my arms out like that, I know it's 94 degrees. I no longer see this as 20 millimeters. I see it as 94 degrees. I know that uh, at the top of my head right now. This is always 94 degrees. This one right here, the 55 millimeter f1.2 is 43 degrees. So I know instantly 43 degrees is going to be something like this right here. And I know the fact that when I'm using it, that's what it's going to be. 105 millimeter, this is actually 18 degrees. So, at, well, closer to 24, 18 on APS-C size, sorry. So 18 degrees would be somewhere around here. This is what I know I'm going to get, you know, probably from here and then portrait, it's perfect portrait lens when you think about it. So I know that doesn't make any sense, but right now I am filming this on a Sony A6000 with a Sony 28 millimeter F2 and that has a view angle of 54 degrees on that format. So 54 degrees is a very normal focal length to be seen on. So I don't look distorted, the room's not zoomed out or anything like that. This is how I look at lenses before anything else is what the viewing angle is. And unfortunately, it's never printed on the lens. Now when you decide to use a lens on different formats, you think of the viewing angle is the same way. This one right here would be 21 degrees on micro four thirds and 32 degrees on APS-C size. It's just knowing what the actual viewing angle is. And that's how those lenses should be sold for their formats. If this, if this is a full frame format, it should say it has a viewing angle of 24 degrees. If it 
is sold for APS-C size, then it should say it has a viewing angle of 18 degrees. Why don't they put this on the actual lens itself? Never made any sense to me at all because that's the first thing I think about is the actual angle of view. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found this information useful. Uh, you guys have a good day. We'll talk to you later. See ya.